Hey, um, sorry for taking a long while. I, I sort of replied to this earlier, but um, I thought that I'd go out and film in front of a kombini. But the thing is, um, I remember that I'm lazy, so I'm not going to do that. <laughs> um, like, not a kombini, but you know, a Canadian, the Canadian equivalent of a kombini, which is, of course is a gas station. But uh, they're not they're not as nice as Japanese companies are, obviously. Um, okay, so let's see now. I'm not gonna tag anyone again because um, I don't know. I'm just I, I just break the rules of these games all the time. I don't know. I don't, I don't like tagging people. I feel I guess maybe some people like to be tagged. I don't mind being tagged. Like it's cool if you tag me. Like that's all good. But um, um, I don't know. Uh, I just. I don't really have anybody else to tag anyway, so I guess. Um, let's see. So Combini. I guess Lawson's would also be the one that I'd pick. I mean, I'm torn between three. Um, there was Popola, which was next to my place, and um, I had some, I felt some kind of loyalty towards Popola. It was good to me, and it had those little daifuku, the, the little rice cake things with azuki bean in it, which was really good. And they always had it when other people didn't have it when they ran out of it. Um, except for sometimes they did also run out of it, which left me starving of daifuku for a while, which was really sad. I get what their all symptoms, symptoms, uh, symptoms, and all that. Uh, but um, but Lawson's um, often I would go there and, and get my. Um, uh, well, at Kangaku there was. Um, in between the first and second period, there was chapel hour in which people would go to the church. And then, since I don't go to the church, um, I would go and then get food during that time. Especially before a kanji test, since I figured if I ate before a kanji test, I would do better, which is strange. Um, but anyways, so I would get often little chicken things there, and um, or um, yakipan. Or um, yeah, stuff like that. Um, coffee. I have to say once again, also the same thing. Um, especially Georgia Cafe Oleo. That was my favorite one. The, the boss ca like Cafe Oleo or or whatever it's called was also pretty good. But um, definitely Georgia Cafe Oleo is uh, number one. I mean, there. I, I didn't think that I'd like cold canned coffee, but I ended up liking it. So so. It was happy times, especially since the vending machine down from my uh, on the first floor of my dorm had it. But the thing is, I didn't take it too many times because I don't think drinking too much coffee is good for me. So um, beer, uh, I don't drink beer because I'm weird like that. Um, I guess don't let my sort of semi skinhead American History X type look. Um, well, you did thinking that I'd drink beer, um, so I—I um, I guess if I had to pick a beer, I'd also pick Ebisu, but for a different reason. The Ebisu, I think, is a really cool god, and uh, out of the Shinto gods, I, I'm not Shinto, and I'm not any religion really. But but um, out of the Shinto gods, uh, he was like uh, there was um, Izanami and Izanagi, I think, were the two first ones that came down and created Japan with the stabbing the spear in the in the water and then um, and after that um, it's either because um, the woman spoke first or because she was on top during uh, sex um, or some equally patriarchal ridiculous reason um, that you know uh, Ebisu came out deformed but so, but he was the first child, and um, so they, they, they took him and put him in a little reef and then sent him off into the ocean. And he went to Hokkaido, and uh, well, he floated over to Hokkaido, and then he was raised there by the Ainu and he came back with a fisherman and grew bones and stuff. And uh, you know, it's a it's a story of recovery, and uh, and now he's the god of business and whatever and good luck and all that. And um, yeah, and then you know the second child. I think I think if I'm not so horrible on my Shinto mythology, or or I guess they wouldn't call it mythology, but um, Amaterasu was the second one, the sort of ancestor of all Japanese people. So so I think really 
you know, Ibs is the first abandoned child, and you know, it's like, come on. And also, I I I pray that um, the Ibisu Shrine uh, after New Year's um, in Nishinomiya. So um, I feel I have some kind of allegiance to uh, to the god of Ibisu. You know, maybe 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 I'm healthier because of Ibisu, or probably not though, because um, I did ask Ibisu for health. Um, Milk-based beverages. I don't. I don't really like. The only thing I can think of is calpis, and that's disgusting. So, I guess milk. <laughs> I don't know. Coffee. Um, and a hamburger chain. I have to go sort of traditional on this because uh, actually I didn't try Moss Burger, and I, I should have. But. Um, I was kind of weirded out by the fact that Mossberger says like coffee and hamburger. I don't, I don't think these things go together. Like coffee to me is somewhat sort of um, it's not fast food. It's like sort of a semi-respectable respectable drink, while uh, hamburger is totally not respectable. So <laughs> I don't know. I guess I shouldn't really assign classes to food because that's just ridiculous. But um, anyways, so but still. Uh, I tried McDonald's there in Japan, and I don't really eat McDonald's in uh, Canada. I mean, I did once since coming here um, because I was accompanying my parents, and they went there, and um, it was actually pretty good. But um, it's not it's not my choice destination. But in Japan, I ate there a few times, especially because they have extremely cheap meals. Um, you can get a hamburger for 100 yen, which is a dollar. Um, so I'd go there. But usually, what I would get is not a hamburger. I mean, I did get one. I got also make pork and uh, um, but you, what we usually get is shaka shaka chicken, which is kind of like this chicken in the bag, and you put the pepper or whatever uh, seasoning you ask, and you shake it, and then you eat that. So, so that was good. Um, yeah. Anyway, so that should be it. Um, maybe sometimes I'll I'll try to do a feature on uh, Canadian comedians, but really it's just gas stations and they suck, and so maybe I won't. But anyways. Thanks for tagging me, man. All right.